Hello, good evening. My name is Bimbo and welcome to our channel once again. Now, I have an exciting news to everyone who want to jump back to Portugal on a student visa. Yes, this is a great opportunity that you cannot afford to miss. And the reason is because it's, I call it the easy visa to Portugal, especially for students. Now, some few days ago, I posted an opportunity for those who want to jump back to Finland to study practical nursing. Two institutions in Finland that require no tuition fee, no application fee, and you can study practical nursing in social and health work. Now, and I started asking myself, we should at least have some vocational institutions here in Portugal where either the tuition fee Either the tuition fee is free or the tuition fee is quite cheap that an average African or an average Nigerian will close their high and, and they will be able to afford the tuition fee. And I found an opportunity to everyone who want to jump out to Portugal. Like I said, I call it the easy visa. The reason is because the process of you going to Ministry of Education, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you know, trying to go through embassy to verify your BSc certificate, transcript, and the likes is cut. All is required to verify or to apply for this admission into these four courses that are taught in these vocational institutions here in Portugal is your WAEC. Yes, your WAEC is the only thing that is required to apply for this admission. And we all know the way you can verify your WAEC. Just buy a scratch card of one five or 2000 Anybody that is interested in verifying your WAEC will be able to verify your WAEC. So today, I'll be going through with you the four courses that are taught in English in this vocational institution. The amount of tuition fee, guess what? The tuition fee for the four courses or any of the courses that you choose to apply to is 1,200 euro which means, your, the, and the 1,200 euro, you can also pay it 10 times. 10 times. You can pay the 1,200 euro 10 times. The courses is for a year, which gives them an opportunity for them to be able to train you in this vocational course that you apply for and also assist you to get job. Yes. Another thing is this. Once you submit your application, you are automatically considered for scholarship. Yes. The tuition fee is 1,200, like I said, which means your proof of fund is entirely cut into half for a single student applicant coming into Portugal. So that means you should not, you should, maximum of 4 million to 5 million for Nigerians, that is what you should bother yourself about, 4 million to 5 million. And these courses are taught in several cities in Portugal. So that means you can choose your lifestyle. You, you will be the one to choose your lifestyle, whether you want to stay in the big city or in a small city where rent, feeding and accommodation and every other things are cheap. Yes, so like I said, I call it the easy visa. So today I will be going through with you the step-by-step -step process that you need to the proof of funds and you need to be able to show the proof of funds. Now, another thing is this, you can also move with your family on this student opportunity or on this vocational student opportunity to Portugal. Yes, you can move with your family. Now, if you are just seeing my channel, this is Jackba with their days. We talk about relocations to Portugal, to Austria and other beautiful European countries where we believe that you are going to have a beautiful relocation experience. So if you're just seeing my channel, like and subscribe, give me a, thumb, a thumbs up so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Follow me as I show you the step-by-step -step process, the way, the way you can apply for these admissions, the application procedure. The application, mind you, is ending by March 15th of next month. So, which means you have about a month to gather everything together to apply for this admission. So, I will show you the step-by-step -step process to apply for this admission, what and what you need to apply for this admission. And like I said, scholarship opportunity, the minute you submit your application, you are considered for scholarship opportunity. So, which means some of you will not even need to pay any tuition fee in this institution. That means you only bother yourself about your living expenses in any city of your choosing in Portugal. Come with me as I show you this opportunity 
easy visa opportunity to Portugal. The name of the vocational school that I want to talk about is called Turismo de Portugal or Portuguese School of Tourism. Portuguese School of Tourism. And like I said, there are four courses that are taught entirely in English, 100% in English. Now, let me quickly mention this. These four courses require that you have some little knowledge of the operations of computer. Yes, it requires that you have some little knowledge of the operations of computer for you to be able to apply. That's why it is called technological specialization courses. So it requires that you have some little knowledge of, of how you can operate computer. And the four courses are culinary hard, food and beverage management, hospitality operations management, tourism management. Now let's quickly review uh, the, the procedure to apply for each of these uh, course. Let's quickly review for international applicant. Now, let's quickly review. Now, what recipient, this means that this course is entirely for, the four courses are entirely for uh, those who do not have Portuguese nationality and are not nationals of a member state of the European Union. So which means it's entirely for, entirely designed for international applicant. Let's look at admission requirement. It says here, holders of qualifications equivalent to Portuguese secondary education. So which means with your WAEC, your GCE or your O level is what it's required to be able to apply for this knowledge of the language in which teaching will be taught. So which means English is the knowledge of the language and you just need to show um, um, the, the capacity in the knowledge of the language. And with your WAEC, your WAEC shows, it will show the uh, your, 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 your grade in English. So that is, a, that is an advantage for you to also prove that you understand the, uh, you, understand, you understand English and mind you, there will be some sort of written test to, to also examine your spoken and your written capacity of English. Now, the application process at the Portuguese school will take place on an online platform and candidates must select three course or school options in order of preference, which means you will, when you apply for admission, you will have an opportunity in order of preference to select three course out of the four. Preference one, preference two, preference three. And the city, city one, city two, city three. So you will, you will have an opportunity to, to select three course and three cities that you would like to reside in to study this course in Portugal. When we get here, we, I, will, I will talk more about that. That's what I mean. Now, application element here, updated identification document, preferably your international passport is what is required here, your international passport. Now, certificate of Portuguese secondary education or certificate of legally equivalent foreign qualification in the country of origin, and they put it here in bracket, that certified by the Portuguese consular service or presented with the affixing of the egg apostle by the competent authority of the state where the document originates, which means with your WAHEC, if you go to Ministry of Education, how does Ministry of Education verify your work? All they need is for you to buy um, a one five or two thousand um, 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 uh, work scratch card to be able to verify your um, your work. So once they verify your work, then you can have them to draft a letter stating that this work is legit is valid, then with the letter from the Ministry of Education, you can take it to uh, foreign affairs so that they can also stamp it. And at the end of the day, um, when you are going to the um, uh, Portuguese embassy for application process and every other thing, uh, they, of course, the Portuguese embassy will also do a normal uh, stamping and legalization of the document when you are applying for visa anyway. But of course, to apply for admission, all you just have to submit is your WAHEC. Is your WAHEC, okay? Now, and um, I mean, like I said, it caused a whole lot of stress because now I heard that if you need to be able to, uh, when you want to go to Ministry of Education to start your verification of your document, 
they will ask you to go to your school and have them send an email to the Ministry of Education stating that your document is there. And that takes a whole lot of bureaucratic process in, our, in, in Nigeria especially, okay? That is a whole lot of bottleneck now. So that caused a whole lot of stress for you to be going to your... That does not mean that if you have BSc or HND, you cannot apply for this admission, especially if you have been able to verify your BSc or HND. Now, but if you have not been able to verify your, especially HND applicants, you can just ignore your HND and apply solely with your um, uh, with your uh, WAHEC certificate. Okay, you don't have to pass through that stress because now it is very stressful for um, um, HND applicants to be able to verify the application because NBTE, who is responsible for helping them to verify the application, don't cooperate with embassy. Of Portugal, so it's very difficult. So with your uh, WAHEC, just use your WAHEC solely to apply for this admission and uh, for this admission. Now, also you have to fill a declaration stating that you are an international student. So that declaration, what this is, what the declaration looks like. Once you click on that form, it, it declare a sound. So what it you cannot do, of course, get a Google Translate to translate it for you. But what this is just saying is your your complete name, your full name. You know that is what this is asking you to write here. The the uh, number of your uh, your your international passport, your nation your nationality, nationality, your nationality. That is what this one is uh, is asking you to uh, write here. Then you know. Just some words stating to confirm that you are an international applicant as a nature. You sign here, then you put the date that you are signing. Then, because this form will be particularly relevant when you want to submit your application. Now, that is that for the application process, selection process. Now, after verifying the application and payment, an online interview will be scheduled between the applicant and the school on an agreed date. Okay. Now, once they uh, they once they've been able to finish the interview with you, they will of course use your uh, depending on how you were able to convince them your motivation for selecting that uh, for applying for their school and the vocational study. That's what we determine the ranking and the choosing of the applicant. So once they offer you a position, you must register and pay the application fee and the acceptance fee within the stipulated time. I will also talk about that uh, shortly. Now. Uh, so the application has already opened from February 5th and is going to end by March 15th. So which means you have about a month to apply and gather all your documents to apply for this admission. Now, let me quickly mention that if you are just seeing this channel, this is Jackpot with your data. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. That is how the YouTube management sees that our channel is providing relevant information to the general public. Okay. Click on the subscribe button, please. Thank you. Now, the interview is between March 4th to 22nd of March. So if you've been able to, if you are, if you are able to convince them during the interview session, they offer you admission and then they notify you between March by March 26th. And you have to pay the application as well, the enrollment fee between March 27th to April 5th so that they can send you all the required document that you need to take to the embassy to apply for student visa. And of course, residence visa for study. What this, what this, this is just saying that uh, to come into Portugal as an international applic applicant, you need a visa. So that means you need to be able to gather all your document on time and book an appointment to the uh, uh, Portuguese embassy of your country. Now, um, the values, the application fee is 25 euro, while the registration fee or enrollment fee after you have been offered admission is 25 euro euro as well now let's assume that you want to start the application process let's quickly go through that together now it's required that you put your name here once you come to this place then you'll be able to assess all of that name you put your full name contact gender date of birth and all of those all other information blah 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 your international passport details then when you come in here it's going to language of communication which language of communication do you want you can choose english or portuguese now your identification document is your international passport. Like I said, you have to put in your WAHEC is what you will upload here. And your international student declaration, which I mentioned earlier, stating that you are an international applicant, that is what you will upload here. Then you here, you will be able to choose three courses and three cities, three 
uh, three schools or three cities where you would like to study the course that you want and the three courses in three order of preference. See option one, option two, option three. So that is what, and once you're done, just submit your application. That is that. Now, let's quickly look at, for instance, one of the course. So let's assume you are interested in culinary art here. This is one of the course here. And the reasons to attend this course, classes by renowned professional, practical hands on and total immersion, teaching, learning and training methodology, English as a working knowledge, opportunity to learn French or Spanish as a second language taught at the school. So which means even as even though the program you are coming here is already present in English, you still have an opportunity to learn either French or Spanish in the school. So opportunity to experience an international and multicultural lifestyle. Different people from different European countries are the people that you will meet during your program. High rate of employment in the industry. You see, employability rate is 94%. And they also have a capacity to support you after your program for you to be able to get employment. Now, the minute you submit your application, you have access to merit scholarship. Every international applicant have access to merit scholarship. So depending on your applications, your interview uh, capacity and everything that they, they, they assess your documents, if, you, if they choose your application to be under, to, to be awarded a merit scholarship, you will be notified immediately. So which means you will not even bother about the school fees and international internship. So which means depending on the course and the uh, place of internship that you were assigned to, if, if, if the organization is in Spain, for instance, is in France or in Germany, so you have an opportunity to, you know, to, to go to different European country to, uh, uh, to either get job or to be assigned to work with any organization, depending on where their branch is in Europe. Now, this is the requirement, the requirement for the, you know, the, for the specific course. Uh, we've already ascertained that the WAEC is what is needed here, minimum of B2 English level. So Council of Europe standard to be assessed through a written test. So which means at the end of the day, uh, when you submit your WAEC, they will still want to assess your level and capacity of English language proficiency. Now, where, where can you attend this course? So you see, like I said earlier, from the duration of the video, you will be the one to decide your lifestyle. So you can either choose to stay in a big city like Porto, Lisboa, or you can go to a remote environment where you, you know, enjoy your life. You know, you no know, rent is really very, very cheap, affordable. And, you know, so you will be the one to decide on your lifestyle. And if you need any further clarifications, you can send them an email or you can click on this link to chat with them live or you can send them an email to ask any so that is that for culinary art and they have um, and the, yes the school fees i wanted to mention something for the call for the same culinary art see the school fee structure yes uh, the program is two semester plus one curricular internship so and um, and of course they are the one that will place you on any uh, on the organization depending on the course that you are applying for the school fees for this particular course is 1,500 euro and you can pay it up to 10 times. You see it here, you can pay it up to 10 times for culinary arts. While also uh, food and beverage management is also uh, 1,500. It's the same procedure, it's the same procedure, it's the same thing like I said. So, oh, sorry, uh, uh, the food and beverage management is uh, 1,200. Okay, I think two of them is 1,005, white two is 1,200. So, but, you know, I, I think this is very, very cheap. Yes, it, with about four to five million as on, on your proof of fund, you are good to go. Yeah, so that is that and also paid up to 10 times. And you, of course, on your own private time, you can uh, assess the curriculum in terms of what you will be taught, uh, the courses that you'll be taught, the main activities, and all those things that are that each of the course that you are interested in entails, and your proof of form with, within uh, two to three months, you should be able to, uh, um, I mean, prepare your proof of form. And of course, uh, just as an advice, just for every money that you put in your account, try to be able to show how the money got into your account. If it is your mom or your dad or your family member that is giving it to you, have them to be able to show 
uh, 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 that they are the one uh, gifting it to you. If they are giving it to you, just have them write a letter, take the letter to a court or a court to stamp it saying that, oh, my mom and my dad is giving me this money. And if it is a sponsorship letter, of course, any once they write a sponsorship letter to you and they provide their bank statement, just take the letter to a court and have them to stamp the letter stating that uh, uh, you are going on a sponsorship um, uh, opportunity for this admission to Portugal. Now, that is that about the vocational institute. And they have quite some other ones. Anyway, they have quite some other opportunity here in Portugal, but it, or especially IEFP ones require that you be in Portugal for you to be able to enjoy some um, uh, 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 training that they offer, okay? Like I, training in ICT, in data analysis, among other training that they offer at IEFP. These ones require that you come into Portugal. However, the one for the uh, tourism school of, uh, 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 tourism uh, uh, school, in Portugal, I mean, it gives you an opportunity for you to be able to gain an admission into the vocational institute and use this admission to come into Portugal, either by yourself alone, if you are not married, or with you and your family, as long as you can show some um, some financial capacity, stating that uh, you'll be able to take care of them if you come into Portugal with your family. So. I mean, like I, I call, like I said earlier, this is an easy visa for everyone to be able to afford and come into Portugal. Unlike an individual proof of form for a normal university uh, student visa here now is about 10 million and above. But this one with 4 million to 5 million with this rate of the school fees and your living expenses together you, 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 with 5 million in your account, you are good to go to uh, um, apply for admission and show your proof of funds to get your visa. So if you have made it this far, again, like and subscribe to our channel, so that by the time we bring opportunities and information like this, you will be the first to get notification. And I'm sure this is a great opportunity for everyone, especially HND applicants who have been struggling to gain an admission into Portugal or come into Portugal with their HND or apply for masters with their HND. This is a great deal opportunity for you as long as you can you have your WIEC intact and you can use your WIEC to apply for this admission and come into Portugal. So once you pass their interview, you pass their written test, you are good to go, gain an admission, do everything that the, that, that, that the admission requires. And you can just book an appointment to the Portuguese embassy and apply for visa. So once again, like and subscribe to my channel so that by the time we bring opportunities and informations like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Follow us on all our social media platform. Also share this video to your family, to your loved one. Thank you very much for listening once again. Bye-bye for now.